Well, hello everybody. I was uh, nominated by uh, Mr. Race Grooves, Mark, on YouTube here to do a video. Uh, somebody nominated him to do a video of some facts, five facts about yourself that maybe the YouTube world don't know. Uh, I wrote down, so if you, if you see me looking down and looking around, I'm going to try to get back to you right there. But uh, first off, my name. My name is Joe. Uh, I've been going by Master Loafer since around 1997. That was four years before uh, HotWheelsCollectors.com. Uh, it was a name that I came up with at my old job. Uh, we were considered a bunch of loafers and uh, so I was playing around one day and I filled out a little card like the index card for like a Rolodex and I'd put master loafer on there I don't know how I came up with it just master loafer so I came up with it wrote it down on that card and then I wrote some funny little facts some not facts but just funny little things you know anyways so that's how I came to be Master Loafer. So 2001, HotWoodsCollectors.com started up. I became a member. I didn't become a Redline Club member until 2002. So I missed the first year with the Camaros. But I did get. I, I do have the blue striped Camaro club car and the black stripe. I still need to get that red. Anyway, so. State. Okay, state. Uh, probably can tell by my hick voice. I am from Texas, so uh, about 43 miles south of Houston, and uh, depending on which way you go, I guess, huh? Alright, so the next little thing we have is favorite sports. I'm kind of on, on the line with Mark uh, Race Grooves on this. Favorite sports, I really don't have a sp favorite sports team. Uh, I do watch the Rockets, Houston, I mean... Uh, so Houston Rockets is probably my favorite basketball team. I don't watch every game, nothing like that. And of course, Houston Texans. You know, good, bad, whatever you want to say about them, those are the teams that I root for as far as that goes. Favorite casting. Now this, hope you have time because this is going to be long, maybe. Uh, Volkswagen Drag Bus is one of my favorite. This is the... Uh, 30th anniversary edition. I do have the original. I don't have it opened. I have it there in the card. There's the word new. There it is. And 1996 first edition. And there's the back of it. Got the barcode. It's not the 30th anniversary. This is. It's got the uh, 30th anniversary there on the uh, wing. I don't know if you can see that. So that's that. That's one of my favorite castings, and I got a bunch of them. Uh, as a matter of fact, that was the first drag bus. This was the first drag bus treasure hunt. This is for the 10th anniversary, 1995 to 2005. And it's got rubber tires. But before this one came out, the first one with real rider tires is this one. So this is a cool one. With big old rubber tires on there. This does lift up. Got the Goodyear tires on there. And uh, anyways, that's one of them. And if you see some dry scalp going on, I, we just came back from a cruise to Mexico to Cozumel, Cozumel, however you want to say it. It was my first cruise. I mean, my daughter went and drove a little mini speedboat, so it was pretty cool. Uh, first channel on YouTube to su subscribe to have no clue I'm going to leave that one alone I'm subscribed to a lot of people I watch a lot of comedians Jack Vell, Ed Bassmaster uh, just different things like that uh, I watch of course Ray Screws I watch a bunch of you guys like he mentioned Mr. Sensitivity that's another one I don't want to start naming a bunch of them because I'll forget somebody or I won't remember somebody or whatever. So anyways, that's that. But let me get back to my favorite castings. Dairy Delivery is one of my favorites. 
Now I like this one. And the reason I like this one is right here. So as you may all know, I do work for NASA, a contractor called a PAE. It's a Pacific Architects and Engineers. I am a uh, operations uh, training coordinator, chief, training chief, when they're called training chiefs. Uh, I, I do it for the building that I work in. And so I train the operators, the chiefs, and the engineers in the building uh, on the equipment that we run. Uh, I just got that job about two years ago, and I'm still learning. I mean, there's a lot to learn in that building. Anyways, it's the main central and heating facility for the whole site, or pretty much the whole site. But uh, we uh, produce steam, we produce chill water. That's not on this, so let me not get too far sidetracked. Real riders. Real riders from the 80s. Uh, I was uh, around uh, 13, 14 years old when these came out, so I was not playing with Hot Wheels no more, so I never saw these real riders as a kid. So what I've done is I've gone back and started buying these uh, from different websites and uh, mint on card and if you watch some of my videos you'll see me opening these these are these were in the package these are mint uh, got the gray hub and the white hub they they do different ones if you can see the different color rims anyways these are both with the toolboxes the back uh, corner pieces there that you see in the bed the blue pieces they're uh, uh, toolboxes. Now I do have the white hub with and without the toolboxes but I do not have the gray hub without the toolboxes yet. I'm still looking for that one. Apparently that one's a pretty tough one to find. 57 Chevys as you all know I'm a major fan of the 57 Chevy. Uh, I've got a lot of them at work and this is the 1996 treasure hunt in purple and it is loose mint I opened it 1998 uh, treasure hunt 57 Chevy as you notice the first one had real rider tires the second one didn't 2005 they did it again uh, 10th anniversary this is the black hub I do have the chrome hub also I've actually got multiples of each one of these and uh, so that's pretty cool. And then you got J.C. Whitney. This is one of my favorite ones. I, I do have the red one. It's back here in the case back here and behind me. If you're watching this video, I, don't, I guess that's to the right of me. Uh, anyways, I do have this one in red without the flames. But this is my favorite one as far as the J.C. Whitney 57 Chevys. And all these are Hot Wheels that I'm showing you. Uh, this is the Shazoo Boyd Coddington. Uh, and I've got this one in a few colors. I've got it in purple. And what's my other one? Black with flames. So I do have three different ones of that. And I have the 57 Chevy Nomad, which is the 2006 Dream Halloween. I've actually got two of these. Uh, but anyways, this one, I'll open it up for you. It actually lifts up, so it's really cool. Got some nice rubber tires on it. I'm surprised I'm not sneezing yet. My allergies have been really bad. That's that one. Let me see. What else? This is another one of my favorite castings. This is a uh, Kmart Melon for 2013. It's the Thunder Roller. I love this casting. And I do have uh, quite a few of these. Not this one, but different different models of the, or different remakes of the Thunder Roller. And another favorite casting, of course, 
is my 83 Chevy Silverado in one of my videos this is the Redline Club version this is the one that I uh, opened up on video so this is the really nice one uh, behind me I have some 87's that are not Hot Wheels and let's see and this one's pretty cool uh, I found this picture or my mom found this picture it's for my 18th birthday which is a long time ago and my first name is Bobby but I don't go by it but apparently I was going by it on my 18th birthday for some reason and if you I don't know if you can see that car but it's a four-wheel drive blazer so I went back and on an unpunched card I went and bought that exact same blazer so I don't have the one from being younger uh, and why it was on my cake at 18 I wasn't even playing with them at 13 so I don't know if that was like a joke or I don't remember why that was on there I thought it was cool finding that picture because it kind of confused me while I was on there. Errors. I'm into errors. Uh, and this one my son found. I actually took a picture of it inside of Walmart when we found it. So it's legitimate. And a lot of people has wanted it and wanted to trade for it. But uh, it doesn't have no tampos on it. And it's a super treasure hunt. So let's get the real rider tires. And... Uh, Anyways, it's the Honda 2000, S2000. I don't even know what year. A couple years ago, a few years ago. Anyways, so that's about that. How did I start collecting? Okay, well, in 90, I'll say 95, 96. My son was born in 96, but, but before he was born, I was finding these little racing champion cars and some of you guys might know what they are I keep looking off because I'm looking into the viewfinder to make sure I'm got everything right here anyways I was buying these and they have tubbed out rear ends like pro stock cars so and skinny runners on the front so I always thought that was pretty cool so I started buying these this is the Camaro and uh, 69 Camaro be exact so I was buying these and my wife bought me a, a curio cabinet which is over there uh, she's using it now because I've taken over everything else in the house uh, so I was buying those <coughs> this is a Chevelle racing champions this one has the hood scoop they have pretty good detail uh, painted engines got a mirror on the side again they got the uh, tubbed out rear ends so I was collecting these I'd always bought Hot Wheels every now and then you know I'd buy one for my oldest daughter that you know she's like 26 years old now As a matter of fact she just turned 26 this year but while I was bringing her up you know raising her uh, I would buy her Hot Wheels from time to time if something caught my eye when I was walking by I'd grab it and buy it for her. and uh, so she's got a pretty good collection uh, and she was like I was when a kid when I was a kid she keeps her cars you know she kept a mint you know she didn't I never played out in the dirt with my cars uh, I didn't like scratches on them I did have a few cars that I actually beat up with a hammer and uh, just so I could have like the little ambulance and police scene and all that so I did have a couple of beat up ones that I purposely did, but I, I didn't like my cars getting dirty, so I have no clue what happened to them. I, I never had any red lines. I don't remember having any red lines. I did have some cool black walls. Uh, okay, anyways, that's how I got started getting collect started collecting. Is I was doing it for myself, and then when my son was born. Uh, about a year later, late 1997, September, October, somewhere around there, uh, I started collecting Hot Wheels. And that's whenever the 98 first editions were coming out and the Dairy Delivery 
was one of those castings and I liked it and I ended up buying a bunch of those things not sure where it's at now but originally the way that I got started collecting actually Hot Wheels is uh, me and my brother-in-law this is kind of a long story but I'll try to hurry me and my brother-in-law had went to the store to get me some oil to change my, the oil in my truck one day so I go get the oil and like I said if something caught my eye walking by the Hot Wheels I'd grab it well, so I was walking, you know, I got the oil, was walking by, and I saw this new Volkswagen bug. And I'm, I'm into Volkswagens. I don't know if you guys can see any of those back there or not. But anyway, so I like Volkswagens. So I grabbed it, and it was green, solid green. And it said, and it was a Wheels package, and I've had some collectors tell me, well, maybe you got it mixed up with a Matchbox. No, it was Hot Wheels and it said VW Concept 1 and like I said this is late 1997 the new Beatles were coming out in 98 the, the real one to one scale cars the real ones and, and it looked like that but it was green no tempos and it was in a Hot Wheels package and the card on the Hot Wheels actually said con, you know VW Concept 1 whatever I can't remember. I think that's what it is so anyways we'll go up to the front I'm going to pay for my stuff I don't have my wallet with me. So I tell my brother-in-law, hey, go put this car over there by the bows, you know, for presents. And across from the magazines, kind of tuck it in there, hide it over there, and then we'll come back and we'll get it. So 20 minutes later, come back to go get it. It's not there. Come to find out the car has never existed. So I've, to I've been told that I've grabbed a Matchbox car, which was not true because I know Matchbox and how I was never did buy a Matchbox back then. Uh, then I was told that, well, maybe it was a Matchbox package since Mattel had just taken over Matchbox around that same time, or somewhere around 97, 98. Well, that Matchbox doesn't, it would have said Matchbox on the bottom of the car, and it, it was Hot Wheels. It, the bottom of the car matched the card. I remember looking at all that. That car didn't exist, apparently. So maybe it was a custom. Somebody told me, well, maybe it was a custom. So I have no clue. I wish I had the car to say, hey, this is really what got me collecting Hot Wheels. Well, I started looking for that one car. Me and my brother-in-law went to a city about 11 miles outside of my city looking for that one v VW. So we go through this big old 4x4 dump bin. Of course, I didn't know it was called a dump bin back then. We took out almost every single car. There was 23 baskets lined up of cars that we'd taken out of that thing. I mean, there is a bunch of cars. Well, that's another story of how they had so many, but I'll skip that. Anyway, so we're dumping the baskets back in. I mean, picking up the baskets and just dumping them in, in the uh, bin. And we're on, we got maybe six baskets left big shopping carts not like little hand baskets shopping carts 23 of these things full so we're dumping them back in there we have about six of them left and these guys walk up and say hey did you see any treasure hunts in there we were like what is a treasure hunt you know what is that so I just went through all them cars not knowing I was looking for that Volkswagen bug couldn't find it so then they told me about treasure hunts and the rest is history here it is 17 years later I'm still collecting Hot Wheels which now leads to uh, the last question on here, and this is more than five facts. There's a couple more were added by a guy there on uh, Facebook. I forget his name. Uh, family or your significant other, what do they think about your collecting? Hmm, that's a tough one. Uh, some days they like it, or some days she likes it, and most of the time she don't because if you can see behind me this, this is our bedroom <laughs> and so I've got cars everywhere I mean they're not like in the rest of the room but this closet behind me it's like the full length of our room and uh, about 85% mm, of that closet's taken over with my Hot Wheels so yeah it's not a real good subject around here anyways it's not too bad I don't smoke I don't drink alcohol so what other way 
you know, to have fun and spend my money. At least I have something to show for it. So, I mean, this is really a fun, good habit. Well, maybe it's not a good habit. But you can make any habit bad by really getting involved in it, no matter if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It can become a bad thing. Uh, it's borderline right now, but uh, even down here to this direction, I cleared a closet out in the hallway and for my wife to use it because I'd taken that one over also. And so then I had to buy these little shelves, these little plastic bins with the three drawers that roll around. So I've got well, three of those filled up. So now they're starting to come from inside the closet out to the closet size of the closet. In other words, what I need is a Hot Wheels room, so that's really what I need. Anyways, let me, uh, nope. So, let me, come on. these jammers. You've seen some of my videos with jammers. This one, I haven't put a number on it yet. But I believe this one's number 98, 98 or 99 of 48 cars jammed, packed. And these, are, I got some supers in here. And I'll get the little, this little bad boy just went with me to Mexico. And I've taken some pictures while I was there of it playing around. Anyway, so I've got some pretty cool cars in here, some Supers, some Redline Club cars. If you look right there, that school bus, it's actually a Matchbox. So that's the only Matchbox in this, yeah, that's the only Matchbox in this whole case. I don't have very many Matchbox. <coughs> but anyways, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So, this is a long, boring video, another one of my cheesy videos, so, um, Thanks for your time, and I'm going to watch this bag, I think. I don't know. I really don't want to. But it has been fun. And I hope you learned something about the Master Loafer. I am a Hot Wheels addict. Addict. So, it's better than a lot of other things, though, right? So, got to look at some bright side of this. Anyways, I think that's going to be it. Uh... Don't know what else to tell you. Uh, so thanks for watching. And have a wonderful day. Because I'm going to go and put up all my junk. All my cars. So I might go ahead and, and pause this. I'm going to do a scan of my uh, glass display behind me. So you guys can get a little bit better look at some of the stuff I have out here so thanks for watching and always keep it real keep it fun and keep it real fun this is a great hobby so uh, something good to get into so thanks for watching and we'll see you later bye I'm going to go three wide. There's a bunch of Volkswagens there. And then get into my 57 Chevys. And then I'm going to jump over three. And come back down. I put the buses back. While I had this paused. And move over three. I got a lot more Volkswagen bugs, but I had to take them out of there to make room. Check it out, Brazil convention. Uh, I had to take it out or take a bunch of them out to fit more Volkswagen uh, drag buses and stuff in. So let me move over to the next one. All right, we're going to go three wide again. Some of my drag. I mean, some of my dairy deliveries. 55 Chevy panels. And now my rail riders. 
Now, as you're looking at these real riders, every single one of them that you see here, except for that Cobra with the white hubs, it's a, it is original. Uh, it's mint, but I bought it loose. But the rest of them, I uh, have bought and opened up, even the Roadster. Anyways, this is some of my nicer cars, and uh, uh, that Batman Dairy Delivery on the bottom. I did drill it apart and put a different base on there, so it's got real rider tires now. But originally, it didn't did not. Anyways, and even that '63 split window in black the white hubs I bought that one opened it up on film you can go and look at almost every one of these cars of where I opened them up on video so if you get some time and you're really super super bored go check them out thanks for watching and we'll talk to you peeps later bye